So Databricks is a software company specializing in providing fully managed Apache Spark clusters, and the company founders were the creators of the Apache Spark, Delta Lake, and MLflow open source projects. And Databricks has two main offerings, the Databricks platform, and so Databricks cloud-based Spark platform with an easy to use web UI, uh, where you can launch fully managed Spark clusters, launch notebooks to write code and interact with Spark, create workspaces to collaborate with team members and role-based access controls, create jobs for ETL or data analysis tasks that run immediately or on schedule, create ML workflows, and is available on all main cloud service providers, AWS, Azure, and GCP. They also have the Databricks Community Edition, which is a free version of the Databricks platform for educational use, create a free micro cluster that terminates after two hours when idle, no workspace, jobs, or RBAC. So it really is just a subset of the one above. So Azure Databricks is a partnership between Microsoft and Databricks to offer the Databricks platform within the Azure portal running on Azure Compute Services. And it offers two environments, workspaces. And so basically this is just the Azure Databricks platform with integrations to Azure data related services for building big pipelines. So if you need to do batching, you can use Azure Data Factory, Streaming, Apache Kafka, Event Hub, IoT, Storage, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage. The other side of it is Azure Databricks SQL Analytics. Run SQL queries on your data lake. Create multiple visualization types to explore uh, your query results. Build and share your dashboards. Now, if you want to launch a Databricks workspace, it's really easy. All you got to do is create a workspace and choose your plan, launch a workspace, uh, uh, use SSO to connect to it, and start your Databricks platform. So if you go up here, and this is in the Azure portal with Azure Databricks, we'll just choose which one we want, and then we launch the workspace, it'll SSO in, and then you're in there. Okay, so, um, you know, the, basically, if you launch, it's not going to cost you any money. So if you want to play around with it, you can do that. Or if you're really antsy, you can just go to the um, Databricks website and try the community edition because there's risk, there's no risk of, of spending any money when using that. Okay.